Well, good morning. It's Monday and welcome to our daily prayers together. I seem to go through a slightly strange ritual as I begin the daily prayers. And that's basically um, to unplug my phone, because, of course, knowing my luck, um, I'm 95 the way through these little prayers. And then the phone goes just at the moment when I'm about to finish and I answer the phone, then I need to start them all over again. So I unplug the phone, but then sometimes I forget to plug it back in. And so later in the day, my wife will come to me and say, didn't you hear so and so called? And of course, I've forgotten to plug the phone back in. Anyway, let's come before our God now. And at the beginning of this week, let's pray together. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. This morning's reading is from James 5. It's quite a tough reading, actually. It's entitled in my NIV version of the Bible, a Warning to Rich Oppressors. Now listen, writes James, you rich people. Weep and well because of the misery that is coming on you. Your wealth has rotted and your moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded. Their corrosion will testify against you and eat your flesh like fire. You have hoarded wealth in the last days. Look, the wages you failed to pay the workers who mowed your fields are crying out against you. The cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord Almighty. This is a tough reading. Um, <clears throat> and it's not people who I think are just rich and that's it. They're using their wealth to oppress those below them, the workers and the harvesters here. And God is a God of justice. And when things aren't fair, he will eventually act in judgment. It's an important part of our faith, isn't it? How are we striving for God's kingdom? How are we seeking to make things fair? That might be in our purchasing, things like fair trade, fighting for an organisation that champions justice. Or maybe even perhaps unconsciously within our lives, we're using our influence, our power, our wealth, whatever, somehow to put someone else down, even if we don't mean to. Maybe a chance to reflect together as we think about something to pray for in terms of God's kingdom of justice and fairness coming through us onto our earth. A pause for our prayers now. And so we pray for the coming of God's kingdom. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>